This is the uh, hydraulic systems that were used to uh, move the elevons. You can see the linkage here. The castings here are investment casts. Um, beautiful work. This is all mill spec. Um, these, uh, everything in this system, you, you can see uh, the, the cable bundling. Um, everything was the best that money could buy. So what's it? This is hydraulic pressure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I, I would think it is uh, some type of an equivalator. Let's see. But I could be wrong. Did you have to fill it? Oh, this was a. Um, yeah, there was probably compressed air that went in there, um, and hydraulic fluid pumps, batteries. You can see the back, here's part of the collar for the rotation of the missile. And then you have your elevons. This is kind of interesting. This stainless steel lanyard here was actually the switch that started this motor. When the booster fell away, it pulled this and started this motor. This is ammonium hyperchlorate aluminum oxide. This burned for 30 seconds, put the missile 28 miles in the air. This, this section here, the first steering command it got was called the roll stabilization turned its belly to the target, and then continued up. It went up about 28 miles almost into space, switches. dove down on a, a target, was given a, uh, a burst command by this particular computer right here. Excuse me. That's all right. The missile, this is your time to intercept computer. Went up 28 miles, okay. came back, was correcting to a zero point in space, and when it gets to zero, whoops, went by it. You can see cams interacting with limit switches. This would be in the battery control van. There were other computers that had climb angle, turn angle, things that were critical flight elements.